So what competitive space would you say Uyala um, sits in right now, as opposed to your competitive set? I think where you find uh, the largest differences, uh, because there's always some overlap, is Uyala focuses uh, more heavily around uh, broad distribution of content and analytics with advanced monetization built on top. So what we've classically seen from the, the more standard online video platforms is a, a large focus on management and distribution of content, uh, which are, are very fundamental needs of the industry. Where Uyala uh, adds focus to that is around that ability to then ultimately monetize and personalize the consumer experience across all screens. And to do that requires uh, additional investments and additional uh, product offerings around uh, multi-platform distribution, and deep analytics around content consumption, and then ultimately automated systems like uh, Uyala Discovery uh, to help facilitate a better and more personalized uh, media experience. Uyala uh, concentrates pr predominantly on video. Is there a thought of measuring all the content like on a website or we think tablet? There's a yeah, we think there's a lot of other really successful uh, players, whether they're in analytics or monetization or uh, simply optimization technology that already focus on the website and display side of the industry. Uh, what we found is by focusing on video, looking sort of more broadly at the overall consumer experience, uh, we actually have a very different lens through which we can optimize uh, the distribution strategy for our publishers. Uh, what we're finding, for example, uh, with Uyala Discovery, uh, when compared against the performance of other optimization uh, and discovery technologies that take more of a web-based view, uh, we uh, outperform them significantly, largely because we weigh things differently and we value things differently than you would in a display world. Uh, for example, if you're attempting to recommend the user to explore new content in a display world, you're largely valuing uh, essentially a click, the ability to simply send somebody somewhere else. Uh, in the video world, uh, we value a click far less than we do overall engagement and completion. So let's say I'm watching uh, 90 second clips of content. Uh, if I send you to another 90 second piece of content but you only watch 10 seconds of it, that's actually not a success. You haven't really enjoyed that piece of content, you haven't watched to the end where I have another chance to monetize you with an ad. Uh, and we no longer have the ability to help you continue to find new content. So ultimately, the the real value in having a video-centric view of uh, discovery is that we're able to maximize overall long-term engagement and user retention, uh, as opposed to uh, more short-term optimization around the number of clicks that you get. In terms of monetization, or do you um, create metrics? Do you use standard metrics for um, ISPs or do you encourage your client base to create metrics? How, how do you create a common language from all of this? So Uyala participates uh, and partners with about 30 different ad uh, technology providers, uh, whether they're ad servers, exchanges, uh, or networks. Uh, we have a number of partnerships and so we, uh, we work very closely uh, with the ad industry. As far as standards, um, there's a number of standards, but where Uyala tends to focus more is how do we ultimately mon uh, monetize uh, content better? How do we get the old adage of analog dollars and digital dimes? How do we get those dimes back up to dollars? And our focus there tends to be on how do we ultimately optimize and personalize that experience? So for example, how do we get the user to consume more appropriate content for their interest a la Uyala Discovery? Other questions that we help our publishers solve uh, are of the form, where should I put my paywall? If I have a two hour long piece of content, how do I best optimize the chances of a consumer actually converting and purchasing that video? A lot of classic thinking has been allow them to watch the first two minutes or maybe the first five minutes of that content. But with Uyala's analytics offering uh, and our paywall integration, our customers are able to very quickly uh, iterate through a large number of paywall placements, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, even 50 minutes, and determine what will ultimately maximize uh, the revenue that they're able to uh, generate from each individual piece of content. How is U U Uyala preparing for connected TV? 
This is a really good question. Uh, this is certainly the year of the Connected TV. Uh, everybody's very excited uh, to be able to uh, distribute to these devices. We see the Connected TV uh, strategy as a combination uh, of a few factors. Not only do you have to be able to distribute content to a connected TV, uh, which is very key and very important, but you also need to have uh, the ability to personalize that experience. The connected TV, just like all of the devices, uh, is an incredibly powerful device uh, today, where we have the ability to engage the consumer on a, a traditional screen, but in a very different model. No longer does the TV have to be this one-to-many, uh, unpersonalized uh, experience. We actually can personalize that experience with uh, content recommendation, different monetization strategies, and with new connected TVs, we actually have this feedback loop where we're getting real-time data back around the consumption patterns of each and every single consumer. And the ultimate value that uh, most of our publishers will be able to provide, and, and that we see the large opportunity is for the industry, is to be able to take the uh, classic linear experience and make it personalized. So rather than having a world of 200 channels on your, your Comcast uh, box, have a world of 2 billion channels, one for each and every single consumer.